This morning I want us to share from the book of Judges 11 verses 29 to 31. Judges 11 29 to 31. As we celebrate the PCMF week, the themes comes from Joshua 24:15b, serving the Lord with resolve. Judges 11, 29 to 31. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on Japhetha. He crossed Gilead, Manasseh, passed through Mizpah of Gilead. And from there he advanced against the Ammonites. And Japhetha made a vow to the Lord. If you give me the Ammonites into my hands, whatever comes out of the door of my house to meet me, when I return in triumph from the Ammonites, will be the Lord's. I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. 35 B D. I have made a vow to the Lord that I cannot break. God is good. The story of Japhetha is not very new to us. Most likely, most of us, we've heard about Japhetha. And one thing I like about him, he was a young man, born of a man called Gilead. And uh, he was cast out by his brothers, judging him by the way he was conceived. The Bible says his mother, she was a harlot. And when he went out, he joined himself with a gang. And at that time, the nation of Israel did evil before God, and God handed them over to the Ammonites. And in their misery, they cried unto the Lord. And the elders went to Japhetha and requested him to go and fight for them. And Japhetha made them vow before God that, should I go and fight for you, and the Lord gives the Ammonites into my hearts, shall you make me your leader? They said, the Lord be our witness. And Japhetha knew the power that the Ammonites had. He made a vow before God that if you go, if you Lord go with me this journey, O God, if you give me the Ammonites into my hands, O God, whatever comes to meet me when I return to my place, I will give it unto you. Little did he know that the Lord will give him victory. And the Lord did exactly that. He advanced against the Ammonites and he subdued them. When he went back in triumph in joy, Guess who met him? His daughter. Amen? And he was devastated. He was like, I think I did not know this is what I was making about before God. And he said in his heart that I have made a vow before God that I cannot break. Amen? And he said, I will sacrifice, or rather I will give this daughter of mine, the only daughter that he had, he had no other child unto the Lord because he had, he had made a vow before God. And this morning I want to encourage men and the people of church today as we celebrate the PCMF week. The theme comes from Joshua 24, 15b. And Joshua is saying, as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. Amen. And I want to encourage you this morning. It is about service. It is about resolving. It's about saying, I have made a vow before God that I cannot break. And many other times that you make vows before God, and when things turn to the good, we forget them. Amen? I'm sure Kira Moja Pasha Ifanya had a na Kaivuch. When we were hustling and you we were very young and we had not married, we used to tell God, When you give me this, Lord, I shall do this. And the Lord did exactly that. Many other times we forget. Amen? Many other times when people are looking for jobs, they say, God, if you give me this job, I will do A, B, C, D. And when the Lord provides, you forget. This morning, the Lord is reminding us to make vows that we cannot break. This morning, the Lord is reminding us to make a resolve like the one that Joshua made. That I and my house, I and what concerns me, I and my interest, I will serve the Lord. Amen. I want to encourage you men and the people of church this morning. As we go ahead, you know we've been through the COVID season. 
And maybe when it became very hard, we were like, God, if you deliver me from this COVID-19 thing, I will do A, B, C, D. And this far that we have come, maybe there are things that we made before God, the vows that we made before God. I want to encourage you this morning. Let us go back to the Lord and tell him, Lord, maybe I have done a vow before you, God, that I have not fulfilled. It is time. As Jephthah that said, I have made a vow before you, God, that I cannot break. May the Lord bless you as you serve God, as you fulfill your vows before God. May the Lord bless you and do you good. Amen.